we're discussing parametric equation. Okay. I'm going to start with the question and while uh, at it, we'll discuss what are parametric equations and so okay. So the question is part A find the coordinates of points on the curve. with x equals 5t square and y equals 10t, where when, sorry, when t equals 6. So there's x and there's y and both the coordinates are dependent on a parameter t. This is called a perimetric equation. You have an x coordinate and a y coordinate and the value of x comma y is dependent on t. Let's say t is time. So at a different time, the x comma y will have a different value. So if at time is equals to two, it's going to have a different point. It's going to be a different point. At time is equals to eight, it's going to be a different point. So these are called perimetric equations. They're dependent on another parameter. Okay. So then when time is six, can you tell me what would be the coordinates? Or when t is six? X would be... 180 comma 60. So I hope everybody got it. All you had to do is was to substitute 6 in the given expect equation for x and y. Okay. Part B is write down the Cartesian equation. Write down the Cartesian equation. Okay, so Cartesian equation is with just uh, the equation that, that just has x and y and no t in it. So how do I uh, form an equation that just has x and y and there shouldn't be a t in it. You still have to use these two. t ko eliminate karna. So what do we do? Ma'am, y over 10 equals to t kar dege just to plug in kar dege x equation mein. t equals y over 10 kar dege and substitute it in the other equation. Yes. So say range should be x part equation on the equation. Okay. That's correct. All right, so what Heather is saying is that we use this equation and make t the subject, which gives us y by 10, and then we substitute it in the other equation. 5t squared now becomes x equals 5, y upon 10 whole square. So that gives us uh, x equals 5y squared upon 100. So that's 20 in the denominator x equals y squared upon 20. That's the Cartesian equation that just has x and y. A Cartesian equation just has x and y. There shouldn't be the third parameter, which was t in this case. Find the coordinates of the point on the curve when x is equal to 3. In fact, let me just change the statement given. 
that's part C. Given now, x equals one minus one by t and y equals one plus one by t. You just need a second. The board needs to refresh. One plus one by t. So find the coordinates of the point on the curve when x equals to three. All right. So what do we do here? We need a coordinate. That is, we need x comma y. We already have x, which is three. How do we find y? Okay. And you're given these equations in terms of x and y. x3 so use that and find t and once you have t put it in y's equation and get y so x equals sorry 3 equals 1 minus 1 by t please tell me what do we get for t here equals what? You haven't found t yet, guys. That's sad. I'm going to take 1 by t towards the left and 3 towards the right. So 1 by t equals minus 2. t equals minus half. So t is coming out to be minus half. Now substitute it in y is equals to 1 plus 1 over t and get y. So y equals 1 plus 1 upon minus half. So that would be what? 1 upon minus half, I believe, becomes minus 2. So y is minus 1. Yes. So the required coordinates are 3 comma minus 1. Party. The perimetric equation of a curve is x equals 2 cos t 
and y equals two sine t for zero less than equals to t less than equals to two pi. What's the value of t at zero comma? Or find t at zero comma two. All right. Yeah, that's all. All right. So find t at zero comma two. So this is x and this is y. Okay, so zero equals two cos t. And we get zero is equals to cos t and t is between zero to two pi. So when is cos negative? Instead of using the alpha method, I'm just looking at the graph. From 0 to 2 pi, cos is negative here in 90, which is pi by 2. And then that's pi, and this is 3 pi by 2. So the answers would be cos t is 0 when t is pi by 2, or when t is 3 pi by 2. You can also use that alpha method. Add sugar to coffee water. Okay. And now we have to use two for y. So that's going to be two equals two sine t. That means one is equals to sine t. This also I can tell graphically. Sine's graph looks like this. So it's one at only one point, which is pi by two. And that's pi, that's 3 pi by 2, and that's 2 pi. So, sine t is 1 only at t is equals to pi by 2. So now, we will only take that answer of both equations that's common. So from the first equation, we got pi by 2, and the, from the second equation, we also got pi by 2. So select the common answer. So this would be the final answer. T equals pi by two. Common answer. All right. That's all we're going to discuss about parametric equation. Now we're going to start discussing implicit equation. I'll give you a minute in case you're copying this. So let me please let me know to slow down or if you need to take notes and I'm going too fast, let me know. Okay, implicit equation. Oh, the last topic of this chapter. Okay, so this is what an implicit equation looks like. x square plus y square plus 4x minus 6y equals to 24. Okay. 
So implicit equation is an equation where you cannot directly make y the subject because there's a y square term as well as a y term in the same equation and an x square term and an x term. So you cannot directly make y the subject. Okay, these are what are implicit equations. Can't directly make y the subject. Okay. So the question is, find the gradient of this curve at one comma. Find gradient of curve at one comma. Okay. So to find the gradient of the curve, I have to find dy over dx. Okay. Let's start by derivating all of the equation with respect to x. Derivate with respect to x. All right. Let's start with x squared. What's the derivative of x squared? The derivative of x squared is 2x. Perfect. Honestly, we fully have to about this. So 2x. But for now, I would suggest you should also write dx by dx with it again. Although it becomes 1, but still write it down. Whenever we're derivating something now, like for x squared, and this is actually what happens. When you're derivating x squared, it's 2x. And with it, there's also a dx over dx, which actually becomes 1. So we've never mentioned it before. But now I'm mentioning it. It's for a reason. Abhi will reason be some other. So there's dx by dx with it, and you can cancel it right here as well. Because we're derivating with respect to x. Now let's derivate y square. The derivative of y square is going to be 2y. But remember, we're derivating with respect to x. So then there's going to be dy over dx with it as well, which does not cancel. Then it's 4x. Derivative of 4x is 4 times 1. So 4 times 1, but then also write dx over dx. Cancel it. And then minus 6y. And we're derivating y with respect to x. So minus 6 is minus 6. But the derivative of y is dy over dx. Equals to sign. And the derivative of 24 is 0. So now I'm going to take dy over dx common and move the other values to the right-hand side. Okay, so to the right-hand side, we get minus 2x, minus 4. On the left-hand side, we're going to take dy over dx common, and we have two terms, which are 2y minus 6. Now make dy over dx the subject. We get minus 2x minus 4 upon 2y minus 6. And we have to find the gradient at 1, 4. 24 24? 0 is your derivative. Constant. Okay. Constant. Okay. Substitute dy over dx, uh, sorry, 1, 4 here. That would give you the gradient. So minus 2 times 1 minus 4 upon 2 times 4 minus 6. Minus
And in case you had to find the equation of the tangent, let's say part A was to find the gradient. Yeah, part A, okay. And there's also part B to the question. Find equation of the tangent. At same point, 1, comma 4. So then you would write, uh, I'm going to use y minus y1 is equals to mx minus x1. So that I don't have to find C. So it's going to be y minus 4 equals minus 3 x minus 4. Okay. And let's include a part C as well. Find equation of normal at 1, comma 4. So equation of normal is perpendicular to the equation of the tangent, making slope of the normal negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent. So negative reciprocal of minus three would be one over three. So the equation of the normal would be the same except for the slope. Y minus four equals one over three X, sorry, Y minus yeah, x minus 1 over. This is x minus 1. So y minus 4 equals 1 by 3 x minus 1. Another question. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve. X square minus two X Y plus two Y square equals five at 1 comma 2. Okay. So, that is an implicit equation. We cannot make y the subject here. So, we cannot directly find dy over dx. We will have to use the longer root, derivate the entire equation with respect to x derivative with respect to x. So let's start with x square. The derivative of x square is 2x. And with it, there's also a dx by dx, but that cancels out minus two times bracket. Okay. Now, how do we derivate x, y? We have to use product rule here. If you remember from yesterday's lesson. Use product rule. And what's the product rule? If you have a function fx times a function gx and you're derivating it, then the formula is you derivate fx, f prime x, gx gets multiplied with it. Then there's a plus sign, fx stays the same, and then times g prime x, the derivative of gx. All right. So x, y is the function. I'll start with derivating x. Derivative of x is 1. And you may write dx by dx with it so that you remember to do the same with d a y. And then y stays the same times y. Plus sign, now x stays the same, 
and derivative of y with respect to x is just dy over dx. Then there's plus 2 and then we have to derivate y squared which is 2y power 1 and then you have to derivate y with respect to x in dy over dx equals to derivative of 5 is going to be 0. So that's 2x minus 2y minus 2x dy by dx plus 4y dy by dx equals to 0. Taking uh, dy over dx common here. So there's a minus 2x plus 4y equals 2y minus 2x. So dy over dx would be 2y minus 2x upon minus 2x plus 4y. Let me clear. You can also take two common and cancel it. Let's do that. Take two common in the numerator. Take two common in the denominator. Cancel them out. And we get y minus x upon 2y minus x. Okay. And we have to find the equation of tangent here. And the point is 1, 2. Okay. So dy over dx is y minus x over 2y minus x. Two minus one upon two times two minus one. One by three. So y equals mx plus c and better y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 to avoid spending time finding c. It's going to be y minus 1 equals 1 third x minus 1. So it is y minus 2. Now I'm going to write a few implicit equations and you're going to derivate them all. I hope everybody got this. Or just in case the question was to find the equation of the normal, then how would this change? Only the slope would change. Slope would now become minus 3, the negative reciprocal of 1 third, and rest would stay the same. Because the point lies on the tangent as well as on, on the normal, that point one forward. Differentiate the following. A is x square, y square. Remember product rule. B is x square upon y. Remember quotient rule. Square root x, y. Sine x square, y. ln x, y, x, 
F is E power X Y plus Y. You guys try this and I'll write the answers next to them. Okay, these are all the answers. So, you can go to the house? Yes, you can go to the house. The house is the house. And I have a screenshot of the group. And I have a homework. But now I have to tell you that if A start, if A has any problem, I will do it. I am completely good. Okay, Marine, what about you? करा तो मैं ए हम पार्ट सी करवा रहे हैं सी ओके तो अदन लेट्स डू सी फर्स्ट ओके सी इज आई एम राइटिंग एक्स वाई पावर हाफ Okay, so uh, power rule, starting with power rule because there's a power on the entire function. So bring the power down half and then x, y power half minus one, which is minus half times the derivative of x, y. Turning off the camera, it says internet connection is unstable. Okay, so find the, uh, now multiply the derivative of x, y. So the derivative of x is 1. 
प्रोडक्ट रूल अब यूज कर रहे हैं एंड यू मे राइट डी वाई डी एक्स ओवर डी एक्स विद इट सर ना भी लिखो तो इट्स फाइन लिखने का ये फायदा हो जाता है कि यू रिमेंबर दैट यू हैव टू डू द सेम विद वाई व्हेन यू आर डेरिवेटिंग इट वो कैंसिल नहीं होता डी वाई ओवर डी ओके एंड देन यू हैव टू राइट अ वाई विद इट बिकॉज़ वे इट्स द प्रोडक्ट रूल इन द प्रोडक्ट रूल यू डेरिवेट द फर्स्ट फंक्शन एंड जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई द सेकंड फंक्शन विद इट देन अ प्लस साइन द फर्स्ट फंक्शन रिमेंस अनचेंज्ड एंड यू डेरिवेटिव डेरिवेट द सेकंड फंक्शन व्हिच इज वाई सो दैट बिकम्स डी वाई ओवर डी एक्स सो नाउ I'm going to there's a two in the denominator from here. Also, I'm going to send the negative index down. So it's going to be x y power half, and the numerator is just y plus x dy over dx. Understood, Mary? Okay, I hope you have understood it. So that's all for my end today. Do all these questions as homework, and we'll discuss any conclusions tomorrow. Okay, take care. Allah first.